the toss, deferred to the second half. Roberto Aguayo to kick it away. Brandon Powell is deep for the Gators. Aguayo, one of the most talented kickers ever. Seminoles bring four on delayed rush. And he just throws it away. Well, Florida may have one of the best secondaries in the country. I'm not sure Florida State's not nipping at their heels. This guy knows how to coach secondaries, and he's got some good ones. That's Ir uh, Derwin James, who has burst on the scene as a true freshman. Jalen Ramsey had one-on-one -on -one coverage. Up at the top was one-on-one -on -one as well, and nobody was there. Starting the Jacksonville Jaguar. Get a swing to the outside. Powell will get maybe two. Up to the Gator 45 yard line. <laughs> and there it goes. Ramsey and Powell. A lot of these Take guys. Long, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the rosters are all full of Florida young men. So they have a high school separated on these rosters. Blitz coming. And Harris was buried by Terrence Smith, the linebacker blitzing from the right side. Terrence Smith, the guy who's been battling an ankle injury. He had a huge play in this game last year with a 94-yard interception return for a touchdown when the Seminoles were surprisingly down in that game. But he has a terrific move. You started with Will Greer before he was suspended. It was about more pocket passing. Taylor is back in. Smack. Reggie North with the middle linebacker. Caught him up under the chin. We'll chase that tonight. Harris, short set to Callaway. Nice move to get three in that blaster. Boy, Demarcus Brutus <laughs> just unloaded. <laughs> and Brutus, the senior who is clearly the leader in the secondary, just wasn't having any of that from the true freshman. Callaway, though, made a terrific move to bounce to the outside, but Demarcus Brutus, a senior who Charles Kelly relies has completed five out of 17, but only for 17 or five out of seven, but only for 17 yards. It's a quarterback draw. He's swallowed up by Josh Sweat, number nine, a true freshman who they just think the world of. Defensive line stunt on that side. The tackle goes outside. Sweat, true freshman from Virginia, comes up. Very explosive guy. Unblocked. This is a hard count. Might get you a flag and an off yard. Bad snap. Harris down. Oh, that just blew up in their face. Well, we mentioned Cam Dillard. The normal center is out. Trip Thurman, a senior who's done everything he can. The guy's battled through shoulder injuries to come back and play his senior year. And they were going to move the pocket, and the snap is low and left. And they had it open. They had the out cut to the left. They had all the big bodies in as it paid off. Saved them a year so the players didn't have to relearn everything. Throw back against the green to Ryan is on the tight end. What a beautifully designed play that was. A delay to your tight end. And Dalvin Cook, who was in the flow of the play and then ran out there, didn't realize that Izzo was actually the guy that McGuire was going to look for coming back that way. Cook was running a swing and nearly went to catch that ball and instead became a blocker. Good job. Second and seven. Delay to Taylor. <laughs> Waiting for him in the hole was Demarcus Walker. These guys, it is impressive what they have built in Florida State and the level of play and players that they are attracting. And this idea that Jimbo Fisher, if Les Miles is in fact out at LSU, that Jimbo Fisher would go to LSU where he used to be the offensive coordinator, I think it's laughable with what he has built here at Florida State and the trend. But I, he, he said on the phone the other day, next year might be the most talented team he's ever had. That ought to send shutters through college football. Harris. And it just throws it away. Jalen Ramsey just pressuring him. I saw Jimbo on the field before the game. He said, people better watch out. We're starting to get good. <laughs> well. They don't be played for, they won a national championship and played for another one last year. Right 
down NFL draft choice. And give his holder, Cason Beatty, who has held for every one of those NCAA all-time kicks. Nice job. That ball was kind of high and inside. Beatty, a senior, enjoying a nice season. Harris had the ball batted down as soon as he threw it. Reggie North from the middle linebacker stuffed it in his face. North of the guy who's been battling a shoulder injury. Gosh, it seems like everyone we talk about has some type of injury. You can see that big brace on his leg, injured. He played well and then took over for Golson for good against NC State. Cook running low for the 48 yard line. Doesn't need much to get to full speed. Good power run game. You've got a fullback in there. That's Freddie Stevenson. Good to have Stevenson back for Florida State. Guy who missed a few ball games with a concussion. This they do want to run game, and that was a terrific cut block by Stevenson. Legal to go down low. It's a great block. Play fake by McGuire. Steps up in the pocket again and throws the perfect strike. Whitfield. Kermit Whitfield inside the 10. Gain of 45 yards. Nothing wrong with the accuracy on that. And the touch. Did you notice how he took a little something off of that throw? And Whitfield, who has ludicrous speed. But Whitfield is maybe the fastest guy in the country, starting to figure some things out offensively. And McGuire hangs in there, puts a little bit of loft on the ball, and there is no way. High school. Nice. Got his hands away from his body. <laughs> to serve, protect, and catch. I wonder how he'd do if Jalen Ramsey was. Fake. McGuire throws back against his body. Touchdown. Caught by Jeremy Kerr. Back up tight end. He had to fit that into a bread box. Terrific job keeping the play alive, too. Almost sacked. The last second, a very dangerous pass. But fourth down, you don't care. If it's third down, you'd have thrown that into the stands. And Kerr makes the first catch count. Look at Tabor. I, I mean, Tabor is one of the top corners in the country. Yes. He's standing right there. Harris with time throws to post. Contact downfield, no flag. That looked like Derwin James got there early and hit Jake McGee, the tight end. And what you have to do is we have to watch this regular time. They tell officials that in what they call a bang-bang situation where you have to guess whether the ball gets there first or not, don't call. This one to me, clearly, yes, clearly Derwin James got there well before the ball. This is pass interference every time. That's a big miss if you're a Gator. That was not bang bang. That no. was bang. Third and 10. Harris under pressure. Throws it right into the line. And it was batted down by Georgia Newberry. The crowd really on the officials right now as they have to send it to punt. Newberry, who had a couple of huge pass breakups against Miami, actually knocked down the very last play when Miami was trying to team with five wins and now going to the SEC Championship. Harris, pressure coming. Overthrows receiver by about 10 yards. That, that feels like a loss down there on yeah. first down. You're, you're heaving one down the field against this. I know you want to stay balanced and you want to keep the offense guessing, or excuse me, the defense guessing, but... Now, you know, they talk about being behind the sticks the first down to make uh, 10 yards for the first down. Well, now, first and 10, and you just... That one's batted up in the air again. Seminoles are so good at that. Newberry, that's his second. I think he's playing volleyball. And that's the one that makes the, uh, the Adam's apple in your throat go up towards you. you what? This ball's in the air for entirely too long for the liking <laughs> of the Gators with everything we've been talking about. Look at his left ankle. Harris with time. Now he's flushed. Throws on a run. Taylor makes the catch. Knocked out of bounds right at the sticks. 
with 33 seconds on the clock. Well, Derwin James, the safety, came on a blitz and knocked the right tackle. Mason Halter, who got out of his stance a little late. But Treon Harris, again, you've got to break down. You've got to find him. Taylor trying to get to the outside. Look at the speed of a guy like Demarcus Walker, who's 281 pounds, running stride for stride with Taylor to the sideline. And Walker may be the most improved guy on defense. Does an excellent job working one on one with Tyler Jordan. The true really open coverage to that side. Blitz coming, and they got there. That is on the quarterback as Javian Elliott, the senior nickelback, comes on the blitz. That is their third sack, but the quarterback has to be aware of the man coming off the backside. It looks like. Callaway was uncovered. There were so many bodies to that side. It required a Cook. Cook somehow shakes off the big hit from Neal, who tried to blow him up instead of wrap him up, and it results in a first down for the Seminoles. Well, this is what I was saying. Jeff Collins has been coaching his guys. When you get Dalvin Cook in the open field, just go for your shot. Try to knock him down. But the pursuit from Florida was just a touch late getting over. McGuire really stepped into that. The perfect throw to Travis Rudolph. 24 yards. McGuire is starting to get into a little bit of a rhythm. He was off quite a bit in the first half. Of course, his secondary, one of the best in the country. Excellent route by Rudolph. Set up Quincy Wilson, the corner nicely. Ball thrown on time and accurately. Pepper. They sit from 45, he'll try from 51. And kissed it off the post. Accuracy is anywhere inside those gold posts. Three, 70 yards passing. That's it. 12 out of 24. It's about the fifth pass batting beside Harris. Harris looks to throw under pressure, has to throw it away. I'm not sure he was outside of the tackle box. No, nope, and they got him again. And that's a huge, huge. penalty. Yeah, because you would have gone for it on fourth down. Sure. Fourth and three. Harris not able to get out of the pocket. What an excellent job by Demarcus Walker, though. Treon Harris tried to put a move on him. He saw that Walker was coming free. Walker just went right by the whiff block by Kelvin Taylor. He's not outside the box. So. That's a decision you can't make. And it's blocked. Pile Marquez White for Florida State and the horror of this season continues a low kick right into the line of scrimmage. Cook again. Nice cut to the outside. Got a block from Wilson. Dalvin Cook got another block and just tripped up as he got past midfield. A saving tackle by Jalen Tabor. If he doesn't clip his ankle, it's 80 yards. This is why Jeff Collins said, don't try to set this guy up. You can see the defenders from Florida starting to slow down and break down. Well, you know those Seminole defenders are flopping at the mouth at the possibility of getting a shutout. This is so huge to guys. And we'll check in. Pressure coming. They're all over him, and then they throw in complete to Powell tonight. It ended with nothing. Pressure coming. He's in trouble, and they got him. 
back at the eight-yard line. The fifth Florida State sack, Derwin James, the safety, led the charge. Derwin James is a guy at 6'3", almost 215 pounds at safety. He just takes the running back, Kelvin Taylor, and just jacks him, takes him right to the quarterback. He knew he couldn't run by him, but he still has the ability to... Florida State's friend, Alvin Cook, weaving his way behind Watts. What a terrific run that was. Had his right guard, Wilson Bell, out in front. Went right, left, right, left. Got every ounce out of this that he could. Watch how much yardage he gains after the cut. And then realizes I'm right. Cook. Big hole, Dalvin Cook. Holding it under the football as the Gators try for the strip. He's going to great. They just didn't have enough offense to help them out. This is clearly a championship defense Florida has. Cook again. Another big hole straight up the middle. Cook, touchdown! Ball came out, but after the touchdown signal for Dalvin Cook. Both he and Taylor just kept pounding away until the yard started to pile up. Mentioned at the top of the show that Dalvin Cook was originally, he clearly did get across the goal line before the ball was knocked out, but Dalvin Cook was a commit to Will Muschamp and the Gators. It was verbally... Kind of one of those long striders has a brilliant future. Taylor on the draw can't get past the 10 things up quite a bit. Yes, it did. For the end zone, tipped and incomplete. Intended for Callaway. And they went back to the exact same route Callaway ran before. Goal. Last gasp for the Gators. Blitz coming. Harris rolls away from pressure. The defense has just been magnificent. Derwin Jones chased him down from behind. Harris did everything he could to keep it alive. He leads off the ball. Yes, I think they took it. Cook. It's the It's a video game. Another huge hole to midfield. Edna and invert with an up. I, I guess. Cook, nice misdirection. Dalvin Cook, see ya. I know if you're tuning in, it looks like this is uh, easy pickings, but this Florida defense down at least four front seven guys tonight. They've given it their all, and that was nice. Uh, now the Cook just went by a couple guys, gave him a pat on the helmet. It took a while for number four to get going, and when he does, it's pretty dangerous. Jimbo Fisher just got a Gatorade path. 26 carries, 183 yards. He eclipses his average. Florida. Seven, that's all of them. That's what they got. They got 17 guys. Well, and Jimbo Fisher won't need to take a shower. I think that's the water one. Yeah, so it actually is not sticky. It's a little cold. Good thing it's a nice warm night in Gainesville. Ah, look at that. You, yes, you know, for the he deserves coordinator. it too. You know, and, and Jeremy Pruitt left two years ago to go to... Well, this was a record crowd that saw a brilliant defensive effort by their Gators, but that guy helped torpedo him at the end. He is just a... An exceptional running back. Well, we're talking about uh, the job that Jimbo Fisher has done. How about being the first coach ever at Florida State to beat the Gators three straight times in Gainesville? He set a lot of records. He's going to set a lot more, too.
defenders, but not enough on offense as Florida State just had an exceptional night on both sides of the ball. Once again, our final score, Florida State 27, Florida 2 coming up next Sports Center for Ed Cunningham, Dr. Jerry Punch, our entire crew. This is Mike Patrick saying so long from Gainesville. Thanks for 